Well, good morning internets. Here we are. I'm coming to you live from the River Grove uh, campground in Drumheller, Alberta. It's going to be a beautiful morning. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, the uh, day is going to be a good day. Another hot one today. Got some uh, um, exploring of the area I want to do. There's some towns close by in the area with, which aren't out of my way that I'm going to go and explore without the trailer, of course. Leaving the trailer in the uh, camp stall just makes sense. One, uh, you don't have to haul it around and it saves fuel. Two, if you happen to get yourself into a tight spot, it's a lot easier to back out or back around than it is to have to uh, do all that with the trailer. Um, believe me, I've been in some tight spots this, uh, this uh, journey and I've always been able to get out without scratching the truck or the trailer. Well, got breakfast going this morning, making me the uh, customary bacon. Currently eggs. uploading my video footage that I shot over the last uh, couple of days here onto the computer. I filled up the uh, hard drive space on the computer, so I'm glad that I, uh, I did buy that storage drive just like I had figured. Most laptops do have a small hard drive, especially the, for the commercially built uh, laptops. So uh, my storage drive will more than uh, ample hold what I'm going to shoot on this trip. And uh, when I get home, then I can uh, uh, piece by piece bring her back and sort it all through and, uh, well, get her done, right? So today is going to be a good day, going to be a, not a busy day, just a, a self-paced day. When I'm tired, I'll stop. When I uh, want to go, I'll go. When I'm tired, when I'm hungry, well, I'll eat. And uh, sometime before the end of the day, I need to stop by um, a grocery store, pick me up some groceries once again. Uh, basic needs is what I'm out of not not like the uh, not like the fancy stuff the other stuff now Which is no problem because uh, they have a Walmart here or they have a really nice uh, store called Friesen's Brothers uh, At least I hope it's still in business because it was last year when I was here and It was a really nice store to go into I really enjoyed shopping there so after my adventures today, that's probably where I will stop by and uh, pick up my groceries for the night. Just uh, getting things going and rolling, like I said, transferring video footage over, gonna make me a coffee when that's done, and uh, our day will officially be on the roll. So we'll see how she rolls, and we'll catch you all later.
Well, hello internets, here we are with a little bit of a uh, um, early afternoon update. Well, as you see there, I made breakfast and uh, cleaned up, transferred the video files over, uh, relaxed for a little bit, then decided to head on out. 
Uh, my first stop of the day, well, was Canadian Tire. Um, not a hundred percent sure how, but my breakaway cable on my trailer has broke. Now, when I was about to pull out of Lethbridge, um, I had it all hooked up to the trailer, all ready to go, and my uh, trailer wouldn't move when I dropped the truck into gear. So, um, I get out and check and hear the pin out of the brake breakaway system uh, was out of the little box, you know. So I just slapped her on in and uh, carried on, right? Didn't really think twice of it. Well, I didn't unhook in Medicine Hat because, well, it just didn't work out that I unhooked and uh, I get to uh, drum heller and go to unhook and the other end of the uh, cable is all broke and frayed. Not frayed like as in been drugged down, you know, 600 miles of back roads. Uh, frayed as in it's been pulled um, apart. Now, the way this truck was when I, or the way this trailer was when I got it, the breakaway cable was actually intertwined in with the safety chains. I know, I know it uh, should be a third chain or connection because, yeah, whatever's, but um, that's the way it was. Now, in order for the safety chain or the breakaway chain to have come undone and fall, uh, fell and drugged like it did or like it looks like it didn't, it would have had to have been unhooked from the safety chains. Well, I'm pretty sure I had it hooked because it was part of said safety chain. And being it was unhooked from the box at Lethbridge, I am wondering if maybe somebody might have swapped out um, their broken safety breakaway cable for mine. I went and checked Canadian Tire and of course total waste of time they don't have what I'm looking for and the only RV part store in this town is uh, closed with no inventory no lights on no nothing so it's closed closed so I guess I'll be pulling it without a uh, breakaway cable um, maybe I can MacGyver something, but anything I'll make will break away before it pulls the cable. So the cable is there, the tensile strength is there for a reason, not just to uh, not use it, right? I'm kind of in the middle of the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, Calgary is an hour and some odd to the one way and you know, there's Medicine Hat to the other way, and, and there's like uh, pretty much nothing to the east almost, and it's, um, I guess it's going to be what it is. So I'm out here at the Jewel Mine uh, historic site. There doesn't really appear to be uh, no mine workings per se or nothing. There's something I can see in the trees about 100 feet away through a... Uh, a wet kind of valley sort of a thing without a trail to it and maybe if I was a little better on my feet um, I would attempt it but not with my ankles um, not with my ankle the way it is and uh, things like that I would end up probably having to be drugged back out just to look at maybe a piece of concrete or something because I am pretty sure there wouldn't be a mine shaft opening because they would have all those sealed up because, well, people tend to go in places like that that they shouldn't. So moving on down the road, probably going to do a town uh, called Wayne and then move on to the Last Chance Saloon and then maybe end up in East Cooley. If East Cooley sounds familiar to you guys, I was there last year when I shot the East Cooley School Museum. I was there and got a nice little got a nice little video series out of the town. Plus I'll be there this year and taking some pictures and such of the town itself. So we're gonna get on with the day, see what's the what, and we'll catch you all later. Mm -hmm.